Quake Toys. We have the Sparkle Shine Swumble Party minifigure playset. Sparkle Shine. Oh my gooseness. Um, we have the Slumber Party set. We have Twilight and Fluttershy. We have the rest coming, but these happen to be in a store, so we picked them out really quick. Who do you want to open first? Do, 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 do. Fluttershy. Okay. <laughs> she had a moment. She had just a pause. So, we have Fluttershy Slumber Party set. Look at how adorable. Oh, she comes with so many things. Check and it out. Pinky calling us out. I, well, yeah, I don't know why she's calling herself. Unless I saw them this way, not to be scared. It could be, right? For sure. I love you too. That looks a little bit better. So look at the little angel. Look at the little angel. And then there's the stuffed animal. Is that Angel's toy? Yep. It looks like a toy of Opal. Maybe Angel secretly loves Opal. Then there's all these cute little Fluttershy pictures and poses around. <gasps> these are so cute. So we also wanted to show you the angel from the set and kind of the difference. Now, I love that this is like a happy angel, but this looks much more like a real angel. <laughs> so let's get her open. And what does it say? Oh, it's, it's a fantasy scene. Scene fictive. Isn't that cute? Poses require hand support. Hmm, Pinkie Pie. Doll and th phone sold separately. Okay, so let's rip it up. Oh, you're, you're home many. Well, they mean Pinkie Pie and her phone. That's what they're talking about. So, who should we take out first? Fluttershy or Angel? Angel. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wanted to take. So, I'm going to use my handy dandy scissors and cut that. Is there another tap? Nope, I think that's it. Chad wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Which... Chad Owens use, use scissors. Chat, oh yeah, she's been very into Chad Allen, if you're watching, hello. And she likes how happy he is, and she says he uses weird scissors. But that's okay. As long as they cut, I guess it doesn't matter what they look like, right? And I'm using Ikea's fanciest. So, look, she fits right into this little purse, which is very fitting. And I love that this is like a cross angel, angry, annoyed cross angel, as opposed to the... This looks like one of Angel's relatives. This looks like the real Angel. So let's put this one in. Let me check out the real Angel. Sure, check that out. And I'll get these guys out while you check that out. So we've got a clip here, got a clip here. Smell. Oh, what does it smell like? Just plasticky? Mm -hmm. mm. A new Funko. It does smell like a new Funko. So probably same kind of plastic that they used. Oh, she's got a lot of rubber bands on her. So these are very articulated, mm -hmm. although their heads are oh super God. duper heavy. Okay, that's the first thing I've noticed. So her ponytail even moves. You can make it up, you can make it go like that. Okay, even her ponytail is articulated. So they're articulated in the hip, in the knees, all the way around. The feet are not. So you kind of got to live with that. But then the, the shoulders are and the elbows are, not the wrists. Ooh, that's hard to bend. She's been sitting in a box for a while. Ooh, and these do have like a Funko, definitely like a Funko kind of smell. And there's her cutie mark. And there's the cutie mark on her cheek. And look at her facial expression. It's really sweet. I really like these. I think they're very, that is the most interesting thing possibly ever. Now, none I, of her. I want a ponytail up. You want it up? So it's rocking. Oh, that's rocking? Apparently. That's rocking. That's styled. So none of this other stuff moves. Does her head move? Yes, but oh boy, is she stiff. And she can kind of nod. Oh, it, it, she is really. Stiff, 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 stiff. There is no way these would stand on their own. In fact, she kind of does a matrix because her head is so heavy, but it's just because her joints are so tight. So she's got like 
leg warmers on, butterflies on her feet. And then she's got like stitching for her pockets. None of her clothing comes off. So you can't really dress them. Let's see what else she comes with. She comes with her little, oops, her little phone. How am I gonna get that out? There, I need to see what to poke. The fourth came off. What came off? The goats. The skirts? Well, these don't, for sure. So she's talking to Pinky. And this will fit in her hand. I like that they did it that way. So she can totally talk to Pinky. And then she's got, this looks like opal, but like a stuffed animal one from all the stitching. I guess that's the closest anybody could get to so opal. so cute. It is. Now this is not articulated at all. The head doesn't turn, the tail doesn't turn. You can totally feel it. So you want to hang on to that switch with me? I'll take her bag. We'll put her bag on her shoulder with Angel. This, I almost want to put this like crossbody wise, but there's no way that is getting over her head. Not going to happen. And I don't think her head will pop off clean. I think it'll be too hard to get back on. So kind of hard to do that. So you're going to have to kind of put it on there. There's no way. She won't stand up by herself. No way. No way. And then, for some reason, she comes with some cookies. Apples, apples of course. Because ponies love apples. Ooh, these are hard to get at. Then she comes with, I think, that's maybe a pillow or a present. I can't tell. And then she's got a sleep mask, which is nearly impossible to get out. But it's a cat sleep mask, which looks a lot like a face washing mask that we have. And it's all knotted, but you can, in theory, you can wrap it around her head. I have no idea how you're going to get that around that hair. Oh my. I think that's going to be the best you're going to get. Because there's no way that hair is serious hair. Seriously. Seriously. I think my hair kind of looks like that right now. I got it. No worries. No worries. I'm going to pan down slightly. So that is a Fluttershy one. The only reason, and there's 8 million tiny little tabs. Let me vacuum. And then there's the stuffed toy. And I, there's no way I could get her to stand up. Not going to happen. Woo. She's got 8 million parts and pieces. Wow. Like little bag thing. So she could totally hold on to the bag here or you can put it on her shoulder but you're gonna have to like put her arm like that because there's no way. How are you gonna get that over? Well there's these tabs. I mean I think the best way to do the bag is really crossbody. Otherwise and you're gonna have to take that that off and then these are sometimes hard to get back on because they're plastic so you're not gonna want to do it a lot of times because that little hole is going to expand. So we're going to do it once and then kind of leave it so she has her bunny. That looks really cute because she's holding on to Angel's head. <laughs> do you like it? Like she's trying to tell Angel it's okay. And then there's this, which I'll bet would also fit in the bag, but it definitely is a stuffed animal kind of looking thing. And her mask. I'm not sure if that's a pillow or chocolate. It's kind of cute. It's a pillow. Yeah, and then that. And then her phone, which is actually, let me force it to focus. There we go. A cat. Has cat ears. Cute, huh? Check it out. Sure. Really you can totally really check it out. Nice. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to come right back, and we're going to do Twilight and Spike. And, oh boy, we have a lot of stuff to open. So we're going to come right back with Twy and Spike. Thanks, guys, so much for watching Quake Toys. And we'll see you in a minute. Bye. Bye.